Hello and welcome to Tranquility Fountain Farm. Uh, we are a farm 3.8 hectares in uh, Sebazan, which is in the Mediterranean in the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains. Um, we grow about uh, 20 different species of liverwort, uh, moss, and um, lichen for you know, decorational, moss gardens, moss tanks, interior, exterior, but as well for agricultural purposes. Um, so today I would like to show you um, just quickly how to uh, propagate some of our mosses. Um, some of them grow in different, well, all mosses grow in different kinds of substrates. Um, some grow on wood, some grow on rock, some grow on rock and earth, uh, some grow in clay. So um, here are some that grow in earth. So we, uh, we make our own sort of uh, mixture. Um, it's actually uh, um, like uh, we get uh, earth from forests. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Um, we, we're getting earth from forests and then we uh, sterilize it um, and make it into like a compost. Uh, so uh, mosses love this. It's got a good uh, acidity. I mean the pH, um, and uh, so this today, what we, what I was doing was some liverwort. This is the half moon liverwort, as you can see, that little half moon shape um, thing there, where uh, the spores collect, and then when the rain hits it, they splash everywhere, and that's how it sort of naturally propagates. Um, and uh, this is a leafy liverwort. A leafy liverwort and this is pearl moss this beautiful moss here is pearl moss and this is the one that i'm doing today um so here you see i have some like a, a sheet this is what it looks like when it's grown all together nicely knit together so that you can just plant it as a carpet um and what i do if i can do this one-handed <laughs> Um, just take a little piece, it's a little bit too much, there, and you got some of the roots, and you got some of the leaves, and then just plant it in there, just push it down nicely, there, see, you don't have to have too much earth in there, there you go, and uh, it will start to spread out, as you can see this one has sent out uh, its first uh, branch, there. Uh, so this one I did about a week ago is starting to, it's just woken up and started to spread. So in about a month um, it should start to fill this whole area and within like two months you'll have a nice thick carpet like this. Two to three months. And there you go, that's uh, really really quickly how to propagate um, earth uh, mosses. I'll show you some clay ones that I'm doing further down because up here we have um, um, on the farm we've got different layers with different uh, sort of substrates naturally. Uh, down there it's all clay, red clay, so it's perfect for certain liverworts and like pocket moss and uh, that kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is uh, part one of how to propagate mosses. Um, I've got lots of um, experience and knowledge I want to pass on. And uh, I love moss. Woohoo! <laughs> um, so go and have a look uh, at our website where we sell um, all our stuff. We've also got like herbal remedies and um because we make like essential oils and uh, oils for like pain remedy and herbal teas for all kinds of things um and lots of seeds so that you can grow your own medicinal gardens at home um so there there you go my name is rose my husband roshan he's somewhere around here um and uh, i'll be putting up will be putting up more videos and uh, I'm going to do another one soon about how to like recuperate rainwater because we don't have any water on our farm. We recuperate it either in our wells or in other things using the fog, the mist, etc. And rainwater is best for moss and liverworts and everything else. <laughs> 
So um, our website is uh, tranquillityfountainfarm.com. And yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe, I guess, and like if you like. And uh, uh, see you again soon. Bye.